the tranquil ambience of a seashore, a boy is sitting every day and watching it. He is having a very wonderful experience of the seashore, the wind and when he is so lost in that, he starts seeing the birds everywhere which is flying. And he starts becoming curious about how these birds are flying. And he is trying to fly along with them but he couldn't do so. Every day when this is happening, one day he is so filled with curiosity that he wanted to ask someone how does the bird fly. So he ran to his teacher and asked him, sir, I have a doubt. So the teacher asked him, what is your doubt? He said, how does a bird fly? Now this teacher's response was so amazing because he never said, I'm busy, I'll answer you later. He never negated, go, this is a very small question. He never made the child feel less about him for asking this question. Instead, his teacher said, wait, I'll come along with you. Both the teacher and the child walked along the seashore and started talking about how does a bird fly. And now the explanation was very, very wonderful that the child couldn't forget in his life. What his teacher told was, the bird is taking the advantage of the strong wind which is going here and there. And the bird is having a very light body. And also, it uses a mechanism through its wings to fly. When the boy was listening to him, he learned the mechanism of flying, which is so scientific. But the teacher has explained to him in a very simple form. Now, this made the child inspired about learning the mechanism of flying and it made him an aeronautical engineer. He is none other than Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. He wrote in his Wings of Fire book that this was the greatest inspiration for him to become this aerospace engineer. You know, this small spark which the teacher ignited in him gave him the future where he could become the best version of himself. Not only Abdul Kalam, Every child at home is asking hundreds of questions which are being negated, which goes unanswered or which are devalued that it is just a small question. Never negate a question of a child because that can make the child the greatest leader or the greatest scientist or a greatest entrepreneur of the future. That's the lesson which we are going to learn from the scientist APJ Abdul Kalam who was a missile man of India. So as a parent, what we should learn from this small story? One, value every question. Whenever a child is asking you a question, even if you are so busy, you can take time to answer, but make sure you answer them. Because don't make the child feel that answering a question is something burdening. Every time when a child is answering, make sure that it is more important for you to answer them. Second, encourage them to ask more questions. Don't give gestures like, oh God, you are always asking me questions. I am getting really frustrated about this. Never use such things because inquisitiveness is a starting point of curiosity. When a child is asking question, either you answer or ask the child to ask this question to someone who has a time to answer. So first two important points, never devalue any question of a child. Second, be a companion and a facilitator. Like for this example in that story, the teacher chose to become a companion. He never made the child like, you are a student, I am a teacher, you should come to me, like, I will instruct you. No, he took the child's hand, he holded it and walked along with him, making that you are my companion and I am here to facilitate you. So he gave the answers which made the child run to the book and find out more about flying. So as a companion, you can make the child feel the emotional relationship between you and the child, which makes the child comfortable to ask you more questions. And as a facilitator, you should also give them more books, which can be directing them to a library or which can be directing them to watch any kind of uh, toys or videos where they can look up to an answer. So be a companion and a facilitator. Third, encourage the problem solving aspect of a child. Now, every time when a child is asking, going to ask you a question and you're going to answer them, make sure that you also tell them what is the problem that it is solving. Like, for example, this man who was like learning about aeronautical engineer, there was someone who thought I wanted to fly and he wanted to make sure he solved the problem that I cannot fly, I want to fly. This problem solving skill made a scientist to discover an aeroplane. In the same way, whenever you are teaching a child, make sure that you ask them what is the problem that it is solving. Like for example, what is the washing machine solving a problem? It is solving the problem of 
washing things in hand. What is the problem solved by a fan? It is giving the air, otherwise we will sweat down. So every time when a child, you are educating them about anything, make sure you tell them what is the problem this particular gadget or this particular mechanism or this particular principle is solving. So the children develop the problem solving skill in them. So in this way, if you're going to handle the child by being a companion and a facilitator and going to answer all of their questions and instigate the problem solving skills in the child, I'm sure there is a 100% guarantee that your child can become the best version of themselves. So this is where as a parent, we need to contribute to igniting the curiosity in your child. It may be a curiosity towards the creative nature. It may be a curiosity to become the world's best entrepreneur. So everything is in your hand. Now how you're going to answer the question is going to be giving the future for your child. This is Rohini here signing off your natural frequency parenting coach.